Good morning, Pastor Kurt here, and I got a question for you. When you were growing up, who was the favorite in your family? Come on, be honest. Every family has a favorite. You don't know who the favorite was? You want to know why? Because you were probably the favorite, my friend. I know who the favorite was in my family. You know why? He always got a bigger piece of chocolate cake than me. My mom was incredible at making chocolate cake. She'd make one every Friday. She'd cut it up, and I tell you, us four boys would lean in, and we would literally down to the atom measure who had the bigger piece of cake. And the controversy would always end with someone saying, his cake is bigger than mine. You know, that principle applies in almost every desire and want and judgment that we make. We all see things from our perspective better. That's why Matthew chapter 7 is so important. It's an incredible chapter. So much content there. And it starts with this verse. And it's so powerful. Matthew 7, 1. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Now let's clear something up quickly. Jesus is not saying that you can't have convictions or make decisions or even say to people what you're doing is foolish. He's saying you have to do it with great empathy and fairness. If Jesus was saying never ever judge anything, he would be contradicting himself. Later in the chapter he says, watch out for false teachers. They're, they're like wolves dressed up in sheep. He's, he's calling for us to discern and judge. He's calling us to a different attitude and a different empathy as we do it. Here are the two rules for making any decision about someone else. Rule number one, start with yourself. Don't ever judge anyone when you haven't judged yourself. Begin with the principle in you. When I'm preaching, I see this all the time. Husbands nudging their wives, wives nudging their husbands, both parents nudging their teens. Start with you. Don't judge anyone else until you've applied the principle to your life. Rule number two, come as a learner. Before you make a final decision on what someone's doing, ask them questions. Say, hey, I've been seeing some things in your life. Help me understand. Or how does this reconcile with your values? Or how can you and I work this out together? When you come and say, you're doing wrong, not only are you judging too quickly, you're backing them into a corner and making it impossible for them to see the truth. So if you'll just start with, I'm gonna apply this to me first and I'm gonna come as a learner, you'll be fulfilling Jesus' teaching on do not judge.